Try how to make a, an amazing frothy coffee using the Mes Nespresso Pixie machine with the uh, frother that is attached. Right, okay, so you get your frother, right, you open it. Any milk that you want, I use UHT. Put it up to, I would say, around there. Right. If you press it a little bit and it's red, don't press it too hard so that um, um, it makes the uh, milk hot. But if you press it for a couple of seconds, a few seconds, it will, it will make cold froth. Right. So you pick your coffee. I'm going for the uh, cocoa truffle. Pop it in there. Now, because I like my coffee, a lot of coffee, I like double, I always pick the, lo the long. Because you've got your short, which is the espresso, and you've got the long, which is that one. I always pick that one. See, that's still going. It goes for about, I would say, just over a minute, 70 seconds, a little bit longer, maybe. All right. Oh, and this mug, takeaway mug, is, is actually an espresso as well. It's in the accessories section of their uh, website. Really nice. The quality is amazing. So, there you go. Stopped. Look at that froth. Okay. So, you see, what I always do is I, I like to either twirl it around like this, right, and then pour it, right? Well, what you can also do is put a spoon and pour it on the spoon so that it drips nicely in there as well, all right? But because I've only got two hands and one of them is holding the phone, I can't show you, but you get my drift. So, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. That is the perfect coffee. All right. Don't forget, you got to clean that straight away. Um, rinse it, take your bits out, rinse your bits. If this gets dirty, take the, the uh, rubber off, rinse it, clean it. And uh, don't forget, that comes out as well. So you can rinse it, clean it. I'll do that later. All right. Okay, so now I'm ready to go to work. Enjoy.